Hello, quick message before I start this video because I finished editing this a week ago. VRChat has upgraded their Unity version again with this update. They're now using Unity 2019.4.30. If you've already updated your projects to 2019, this is a very easy update. All you have to do is install the new Unity version and open your project with it. That's literally it. You should be fine with delaying upgrading your projects for a while, but you might want to do it as soon as possible. Anyways, enjoy the video. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. So VRChat has recently released an update for their avatar fallback system. Previously, this system was used to allow Quest users to see an avatar in place of the gray robot for PC only avatars. Now, fallback avatars will work for both platform missing and performance blocked cases for all platforms. Fallbacks are optimized avatars that have been uploaded for both PC and Quest that are used in cases where you can't see the avatar a user is wearing. You can see if someone's avatar is a fallback by opening up your quick menu. In a user's nameplate, where avatar performance is usually displayed, there will be a blue feather icon with text reading fallback. The blue feather icon can indicate different states, including performance blocked, file size blocked, platform missing, or error. Like before, you can select a user and force show their avatar in most cases. To select a fallback avatar, go to your avatar menu and select Choose Fallback. You will be given a row of public avatars to select as your fallback avatar. Like with Quest fallbacks before, you can also upload your own fallback avatars. However, some requirements will have to be met. First off, fallback avatars have to be uploaded for both PC and Quest. You can't make a fallback avatar for one or the other, it has to be both. Second, both uploads of the avatar need to have a good or better performance rank. And finally, when uploading the Quest version, you need to have the Use as Fallback toggle checked. Now, this may seem like a lot to some of you, but if you already have a Quest optimized avatar, it's pretty easy to upload a simple fallback. If you want to know how to make one, I have a video explaining how to easily create a Quest version of an avatar that falls under good performance rank. I'll have this video linked in the description. Next, let's get into uploading your own fallback avatar. First, import your fallback avatar for Quest into a Unity project with the newest VRC SDK installed, and make sure the project is set to Android under Build Settings. Set up your avatar as you normally would, and then upload it. Once you get to the avatar upload screen, select the Use for Fallback checkbox, then Upload. Once the upload is finished, switch your project back to PC. At this point, if you have a good ranked version of your avatar for PC, you can choose to upload that as the PC version of your fallback. If you don't, your Quest version will work perfectly fine. Upload the avatar again to the same avatar ID, and you're done. In the VRChat avatar menu, under Choose Fallback, there will be a new category called My Creations for Fallback. Here is where you'll find the fallback you uploaded. Select it, and then confirm. You will then show up as that avatar whenever your main avatar can't be loaded. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about avatar fallbacks. There's a lot going into them, so I'll have official documentation linked below, which answers a lot of questions. And as I said before, if you need to make a quest-optimized avatar, I have a video which shows you how to do exactly that right here. Anyways, that's gonna be it for now guys, I'll see you next time.